Congratulations to the class of 2011. All things are possible. All things are possible. Dream. Dream, young people. Dream. This is obviously a big milestone year for the school. So, first we celebrate the first class that starts at school. Gets excited about that. Then we celebrate the first graduating class at the school and I remember being at that graduation it was really unbelievably exciting and the tears in these families eyes were fabulous and the speeches were moving and now we're really celebrating the first group of, of students, of kids, kids who are becoming men and women who are graduating from college and to think that you know eight years ago that these kids would start this journey where they graduate from college and then to think for some of them like Darius that's not the end of their education they're still going on to get masters and they're still going on to make a difference in the world and some of them are taking jobs immediately and you know it's just from eight years ago Krista Ray Jesuit High School is making a difference in the world in the community and in the world. Being the first graduating class from Crystal Ray has just been amazing. Um, graduating from college right now is unbelievable. The time has flown by but just the fact that I, I'm going to graduate here with a bachelor's degree and then move forward and get a graduate's degree. I can just, just, I can't even fathom the things that I'm about to try and attempt to do. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's like a movie, but I'm just kind of sitting and watching, waiting to see what's gonna happen. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just excited. If Darius's life is a movie, I wanna produce it because I wanna be the one to win the Oscar. Uh, I distinctly remember the first time we met we went to lunch, and um, I remember it was March, and I know that because the NCAA tournament was on, basketball tournament. I'm a big basketball fan, and I'm like, oh, this is going great. We're going to really have this, you know, long relationship. And then he says, and then Duke is on, and he's like, that's my favorite basketball team. And I'm like, well, that's my least favorite basketball team. And so we just have a, 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 a we laughed about it, and to this day, um, there's a constant back and forth with, with, with us. I'm a Maryland Terrapin fan. He's a, he's a Duke fan. My benefactor is uh, Mr. J.M. Shapiro. Um, he was the support from the beginning, financially, emotionally, and the fact that he kind of still carries on and wants to see what I develop into and see my progress just pushes me even more and it makes me thank him so much. It shows that he cares. So we, we initially bonded very easily over sports, um, but I think, I think we're both focused on making the world a better place. As we all know, Baltimore can be a dangerous city. I was raised in uh, West Baltimore in the Emerson Village community. Uh, drugs are very rampant in the community. Schools are closing, uh, rec centers are closing. Friends have been lost uh, by drive-bys, uh, gang shootings, and things of that nature. Uh, my mom sacrificed so much for me. And at one point she was working two jobs to put me through school. I remember my um, eighth grade year, my math class, my teacher, she put out all the brochures. My mom, she saw a gym and it was Crystal Ray. Coming in as the pioneering class of uh, 2011, of Crystal Ray, uh, the first class, um, it, it, was, it was just amazing coming in, um, the feeling knowing that we were starting something new. The curriculum was very rigorous. It pushed me to all my limits from uh, honors courses to AP courses to just extracurricular help from the teachers. Um, they were always there to respond. Um, the lacrosse program played a huge part in my life, a huge part. It was a safe place for me to go. I got up and wanted to go to Crystal Ray in the morning. It's, it's great that kids can have the chance to go to school, learn in school, have mentors, have role models, but then also go in the working environment and get the chance to work and get the chance to understand what that is, and have role models at work as well. If you have a little spark of wanting to make the world a better place, that spark gets lit when you're at the Crystal Ray Jesuit High School, and it's very clear for somebody like Darius that the spark was a, was a flame before he even walked in those doors, but it just keeps burning brighter day in, day out. My internship was with the Carroll County Detention Center. I'm a part of the reentry service program, and so what we do there is help clients that are within uh, 90 days of their release and just basically help them kind of end a cycle of reincarceration uh, through like obtaining health insurance, obtaining a stable home, uh, job readiness programs, and uh, mental health and uh, substance abuse treatment. Darius has been extremely successful with building rapport and 
assisting with these transitional plans or reentry plans. They ask for him all the time. You know, they want to meet with him. Uh, they refer their peers to him uh, for assistance. I mean, he's definitely going to be a wonderful social worker. I've been helping clients uh, who want help in post-secondary education, who are helping clients apply for college. The warden really, really likes him here. He really does. He thinks highly of him. For a student to be regarded that way is a big deal. And he's opened up the door, the warden said today, that other students are certainly welcome to come. So, and that's huge for a detention center. He is not 35 and doing great work. He is graduating college. Um, I wouldn't want to say what I was doing in college, you know, at, at, at his age, but I can tell you that I wasn't doing social work and I wasn't doing the great things that he was doing. And I certainly was doing charitable endeavors, but, um, but he's taking it to a whole nother level. It's really fabulous. Um, my biggest aspiration is to open up my own clinical private practice and to have that running and um, hopefully start a nonprofit organization also. We always joke that people move back to Baltimore. So, you know, my hope would be that these students who graduated from Christa Ray four years ago and are now graduating college are going to come back and make a difference in the Baltimore community. Um, I would like to start my nonprofit back in, uh, preferably in a neighborhood close to Emerson Village where I was raised. Um, just because that's my hometown and I have to give back. He's not saying, I want to go make a difference in New York City. He's like, I want to make a difference where I grew up. I want to make a difference in my city. I want to make a difference in Baltimore. To all the donors, the sponsors, the benefactors, thank you very much for everything you do for Crystal Ray. Thank you for giving uh, Crystal Ray a chance. Um, thank you for the internships. You're not just helping Crystal Ray, you're helping students, you're helping families. Um, it's going to be a cycle. You're helping students break cycles that they are, they've currently been in. Just thank you so much. Thank you for giving me the chance that I have right now. So, you know, look, at the end of the day, I love Darius. He's like a brother to me. And if I had to say one final word of advice to him, I'd tell him, go Terps. <laughs>